Hey, you DC collectors, welcome back to a brand new episode of the show. Have you ever had figures that just don't stand on their own? No matter what you do, they just tend to fall all over the shelf. Well, I've had that happen with these Mattel DC Universe Infinite Heroes action figures. And not all of them do this, but a good majority of them do just because of the different sizes of feet on these things. And I finally found a solution. Back when these were coming out, I did not realize that Mattel decided to release action figure stands specifically for this line. So I found these just by happenstance, just on eBay, and I was looking for figure stands and these popped up. Now, this is 40 figure stands for just for this particular line of action figures, the DC Infinite Heroes action figures. They have the caveat here that says stands may not work with some figures, and that sucks because I hope that these work with every single figure. And what we're going to do is I have uh, just a various few Infinite Heroes figures laid out right here, and we're going to uh, try to stand them all on these stands. But before we do that, let's take a look at the box that this thing comes in. I can't remember how much I paid for that. I think I paid like $12.50, $12.50 for this particular pack and this is brand new still sealed got the tape on it and everything which is pretty nice I, I figured I would pay more because I know those DC Universe classics figure stands can be kind of pricey on eBay but this is not those this is the infinite heroes take a look the side of the package that features the UPC in case you need to check that out for whatever reason you're not gonna find them on store shelves I doubt the only other of note thing is here on the side that shows you one peg on each stand and this is how the figure fits on the stand if i take reverse flash here you can see he does have holes here and here so you can stand him on either foot so let's uh let's open this box up and let's start standing these guys to see how well they stand so what i'm gonna do here is take this box cutter boom boom up you know what lots of tape lots of tape gotta cut all the tape don't want to leave any tape. Keep me from getting in this box. Kids, be careful. This is very sharp. And it looks like, does it come up like this? Open. Once you open it, wow. 40 blue pieces of plastic. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get these out. All in one. Ah, wow. That's pretty awesome. Let's stand them up. Let's take a look at one of these awesome bases okay so you have the dc universe infinite heroes logo on the base that's pretty cool and of course the stand it seems is on the uh, left side of the base of course it has trademark dc comics with the china name and some, some other garbledy gook on it looks like this was put out in 2009 according to uh copyright stuff there and there is some sort of mumbo jumbo number here 22480B I don't know what that means let's see if it's like that on all of them 22480B yep just some kind of factory code or something so let's see how this stuff these figures stand and uh, we're gonna put the reverse flash on there ah, I just went down really easy and he stands perfect these are so nice I will tell you while we're on the subject of the Infinite Heroes, take a look at this. You would think by looking at this, oh, look at all the dust on that guy. Nope, that's not dust. That's that's the plastic breaking down. I don't know if Mattel used like some horrible kind of plastic when they were, uh, you know, creating this line of figures. Uh, but I've seen it on the DC Universe Classics as well. I, it's just the the grade of material that they used was kind of not as, as good as it should be. Now, you know, you can go across this with your finger and and wipe it off and it does come off but it's gonna come back as it breaks down so sometimes a good bath will will help this out but you want to be careful of some figures like this no scrubbing because if you check out him he's got like this painted on stickery thing here you don't want to rub that off or scratch it up and make it look bad but this guy is one of those figures that notoriously would not stand for me so he's gonna go on the base you can see foot peg that, oh, here we go. It, like the second one I pick up is going to be the the one that the fig doesn't figures don't stand. Yeah, the hole in his foot is just too big. Oh, that sucks. The hole in his foot is too big for the base. And you know my problem is I'm going to have to if I put one on the stand I got to put them all and he's just going to have to stand 
weird on the shelf. That sucks! We're gonna grab another one, which is Gotham PD guy. I guarantee he's gonna be just the same. He's another one that's pretty hard to stand, and uh, I got a feeling it's gonna be just the same as Gordon. But no, he actually goes in on there. Good, sweet! So they're standing, they're standing pretty good. Here's Guy Gardner. We're gonna put a stand down over here for him. See how his foot goes in. He's got a little, looks like a smaller hole too, so his will fit in pretty good. Oh, this is just awesome. I have ne it's gonna be nice to have these guys standing without me having to like hold my breath every time I walk by them. Cause that was a major problem with this line. Every time I walk by the shelf, you know, it's not like I'm Godzilla or anything, but every time you stepped, it, inevitably one of these guys was gonna say, ah, <laughs> once he falls and the one behind him falls and it's like dominoes and they all go all over the place. Take another one over here and Blue Beetle stands perfectly. Well, there you have it. They all work perfectly except for Commissioner Gordon. Now, I don't have all of the Infinite Heroes figures by any stretch of the imagination. There were a ton of these that came out. Out of the ones that I do have, every one of them fit perfectly on the stand, really snug, with the exception of Commissioner Gordon. And I, I probably can fix that, you know, go in and add a little something to the inside of the hole just to kind of shore it up a little bit, make it a little bit uh, snugger. But these look absolutely awesome together. I can't wait to put these on the shelf. I love the blue color of the base. It just looks really dynamic, especially on a white shelf. This will really add some pop to it. And above all that, just seeing all the figures stand perfectly, man, just a whole line of these. I'm looking to get the whole set and it will take me maybe a couple of years to snag them all. But now I'm, I'm looking forward to actually displaying these on the shelf. Just wanted to give you a quick look at these DC bases from Mattel to give you an idea of what is actually out there display wise for your collection. And these are actually officially licensed merchandise. These bases have the DC logo on them. So in the comment section below, let me know if you have these. I, I'm just curious how many people actually bought these for their infinite heroes figures. It, like I said, I, you know, I collected this line a little bit back in 2009, 2008. I can't remember the exact date that these first came out, but I only got like most of the first wave. And then here and there, I picked up a figure, but I, I had no clue that Mattel put out these bases and I wish I knew then what I know now. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for even more of these boxes. Let me know in the comments below if you have them. All right, that's it folks. If you like this video, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Check me out at dccollectors.com each and every day, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also check out the next video because you'll probably like it too. If you like this one. Thanks.